today's matchup between the Northeastern Huskies and the Boston Red Sox. And it all begins with the first pitch, strike one call. All right, let's take a look at the Northeastern lineup as the Huskies get ready to go against the Red Sox. Here's the one-two from Mosqueda. And it is a base hit to right field, so the shortstop from Wellesley is aboard with a leadoff single for the Husky. Man on, nobody out. Fly ball from Sorota. Jaron Duran, the center fielder under it, and he'll make the catch for the first out of the game. Base, a second base. Fly ball to left field. Yoshida under it, makes his first play of the game, and there's two down here in the first. Runner goes, throw to first, got him in the rundown, and they will throw out Smith to end the inning. Jaron Duran in center field, Rafael Devers at third base. Kike Hernandez, the shortstop, Masataka Yoshida in left. 33 games. Lines this one to left field towards the corner. And that'll drop in there for what he hopes to be a double, and sure enough, he slides in safely. A leadoff double for Jaron Duran. Here's the three two to Devers just out of the reach of the first baseman Thornbond and that'll be a base hit to right field and Duran will come around to score and two batters in the Red Sox have a pair of hits and a one nothing lead. Yeah this is nice here from Devers to get that fastball up and in clears it with the hands hits this ball Thornbond just slow to react kind of hooking towards that right field line. Undergoing surgery, expected to miss at least half the season. Now that one, way over and out of the reach of the catcher Jarvis. The play shortstop. Another pitch, high and outside from Quinlevin, and now Devers will go to third. The 3-2 from Quinlevin outside, bounces back quickly, so Devers has to stay at third, but that'll be a walk. Batting cleanup today, but uh, projected right now to be the leadoff hitter for the team. He drives this one to left field, spun around a bit, but getting back after it is Feinberg. Coming in to score is Devers, a sack fly for Yoshida, and a 2 nothing lead for the Red Sox. You hear a lot about has a good at bat here. Yoshida sitting there 0 2. Gets a fastball from Quinn Living, outer half. Doesn't try to pull it, stays on that ball. 3 0 the count now to Verdugo's. One down, here's the 3-2 pitch. Ball four outside, and that'll force in a run. I beg your pardon, that'll load the bases. A 3-0 from Quinlevin, and a four-pitch walk with the bases loaded. That'll bring in a run and make it 3 nothing Red Sox. And that'll bring Mike Glavin out. Valdez rips that one towards the gap in right field. It'll get to the gap. And the track, one run in, a second run coming in as well. A two-run double for Emmanuel Valdez and the Red Sox taking a 5 nothing lead here in the first. The Red Sox really love Valdez's bat. One of the reasons why they got him in that Christian Vasquez trade. You see this fastball kind of split the plate. 1-0 takes a good swing. That's what you want. You want to do damage within the zone. Here's the 2-2 from Harrington. Hey, come in. Pop up. Shallow center field. Center fielder Sorota in. He makes the catch. Runners hold for the second out of the inning. Far more quickly than we usually see. Up the middle and Harrington gets the glove on and flips it to first to retire Duran and get out of the jam. Run pitch from Feldman and that's base hit to left field. Catcher Ed Jarvis. And with one down, the Huskies have a man aboard. Brown ball to short, Hernandez the quick flip, Valdez to Casas, and the double play will end the inning. So, Feldman works around the one base hit. I think he took a step forward last year. It's a towering uh, pop fly, shortstop, Spencer Smith under it, shields from the sun, makes the catch for this team. As he drives this one to center field, Sorota back after it, and he'll get under it to make the catch. So one, two, three inning for Patrick Harrington. We head to the third with the Red Sox leading five nothing. Swing and a miss, strike three. So Broadway, the first strikeout of the game for a Red Sox pitcher. The two-two from Broadway. 
Base hit to left field, and Mesa is aboard. Break a ball from Broadway. Showed a couple in the dirt. This one he gets up. Beckstein, the second baseman at the plate. First pitch line drive. Casas will make the play, tag the bag, and end the inning. Disengagement talk as Alfaro, first pitch, swinging gets a base hit to right field. A one-out base hit for Alfaro. Let's do it, too. At least that's the hope. Little number the third base side. Cross in there. Across the diamond, he makes the play for the second out. Alfaro moves on to second base. Tampa Bay last year, you were breathless the speed at which he was pitching. We'll pop fly to second base here. Bernstein under it, and he makes the catch. So Harrington's pitch well since coming into the first. That's kind of like where my mindset is, too, is I kind of want to get beat on the heater, and I want to go oppo, you know? So, um, you know, I just switched to my regimen a little bit more, just like I said before, to, to more baseball-oriented works than, you know, just who else do we have? I'm trying to think. Um, There's a fly ball to center field. That goes uh, up and off the wall. So is Ciota, who fires one and drives in the first run of the game for Northeastern as Smith will come around to score, and the Husky fans here come to life in the fourth inning. First run in for Northeastern at Jet Blue Park for the Red Sox. And after the double, got a stolen base here. So Huskies coming out uh, aggressively here. Green light, go out there and show what you can do. Spencer Smith, he had a stolen base earlier here in this inning, and Serrata kind of showing the speed here, taking second base. Double from Serrata, followed by the stolen base. Ground ball to short. That'll get the run in as Hamilton throws out crossing for the first out of the inning and the second run of the game for the Huskies. Alex Lane from Andover, Mass. St. John's Prep fouls this one. Off to the first base side. Coming back in, making the catch there for the final out of the inning. But the Huskies get a pair. And there's a fly ball to center field. Sirota under it will make the catch for the first out of the inning. Look for something in her half. There's a fly ball, center field. Maldonado is the new center fielder, beg your pardon there. He will drift in and make the catch. So. Two up, two down, and Maldonado, the new center fielder, making both catches. Loved his defense on the infield side. Now he's taking that ability to the outfield. Cost, meantime, will rip that one down the left field line, and he'll be in with a stand-up two-out double here in the fourth. So, man, on second uh, for David Hamilton. Two outs, little number right in front. The quick play for the catcher, Brinker. He will throw him out, and that will end the inning to double-A Portland last year. Got the one game in after spending most of the season in Greenville. The Red Sox look at him as a potential leverage reliever down the road. That one getting away from Eli Marrero. It's the one-two from Olds. Got him on the swing, strike three. So first strike out of the game for Olds. Here's the 3-2 pitch from Olds. Ball four called, throw offline, and the run will come in. And so all of a sudden, it's a 5-3 game here in the fifth inning. Well, the running Huskies. They need to put pressure on these guys. Barrero throws that ball down the left field line, and Koss kind of trying to hold the bag. Really in that kind of situation, really the number one priority here all the time, ball priority, right? Number one priority is to catch the baseball. You're not going to obviously throw him out or get that out. He does, he tries. The throw was way off. <laughs> Got to give the booth a little chance to yeah. talk here. This is uh, Mesa, drops one into right field and drops in ahead of Abreu. 0-2, ground ball, third base. Up with it quickly and around the horn for the inning ending double play. Koss started it, and the Red Sox get out of the jam. Eight with a double. And rips one right back up the middle for a base hit to lead off the fifth here at Jet Blue Park. That's what we want to see from Crook, you know, making contact, especially with two strikes. And the stamp of approval. He said they're all in. I love the deal. As that one gets away, and Crook will make the move to second base. Point late in this game. Two and two pitch, swing and a miss there by Fitzgerald. So Maurice gets the strikeout. There's two down here in the fifth. One, two from Maurice. Call 
third strike, and he ends the inning on a pair of strikeouts. It's the end of the season here with all the, all the teams competing hard. Swing and a miss right there as uh, Rio Gomez uh, gets two quick outs. The kids do, and families to uh, enjoy and experience. Yeah, and this baseball program, too, when you think of the Northeast, now you think about Northeast and the success that they've had. And my boy, Mike Glavin, he has been there now nine years. You take a look at some of the notable major league uh, players who have come out of the Northeastern University program. Aaron Savali uh, with Cleveland, Jason Vosler, Adam Ottavino, and Carlos Pena, of course, playing with the Red Sox. And the man coaching Northeastern now, Mike Lavin. We still hold a grudge, but uh, he's he's a great man. We got along well. It's a great memory for everybody. All right, bottom of the sixth, and Rafael going here. The throw on the left side of the bag. It is in there with the stolen base, a two-out stolen base. If you're a member of the Boston Red Sox organization, just talk about how Northeastern University beat you, <laughs> even if it means nothing. Enjoys a day in the sun here in southwest Florida. Here's a fly ball from Hamilton, dead center field. Aldonado under it. He will make the catch to end the inning. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Ground ball to short. Hamilton up with it. The throw high, but Goodrum goes up and comes down in time to get the out. Here's the 1-0 to Gregory Bazo. There's a... Line drive, base hit to left field, cut off there by Crook, who comes up quickly. Nice play by Crook in left field to keep Bozzo to a single. So here's Beckstein, Luke Beckstein, the junior infield, has played the whole game. That throw offline. Now Bozzo will head over to second base. Ground ball up the middle, over to play at the second baseman. Sogard throws it across in time. 2-2 two -two the count now as Salucci rocks and fires. Swing and a miss, strike three. So he gets McGregor to end the inning of the Red Sox. Open up game play this spring with a 5-3 win over Northeastern University in the seven-inning exhibition game here at JetBlue Park.